Good morning, Positive Astros. The time is now 8.40. Today is Monday, April 8th, 2019. My name is Christian. My name is Jaileana. And welcome to Channel 5 News. Thought for today. Begin with the end in mind. Now over to Jack with the Pledge of Allegiance and the School's Pledge. Will you please stand? <laughs> for all. I pledge today to do my best with the great attitude I will progress. I promise to obey the rule and all my choices each day in school. Respect myself and others too and work hard to constantly improve. I am committed to learn all I can I'm in charge of my life's plan. Thank you, Jack. Today's announcement. Monday, April 8th, book fair all week. Kindergarten roundup. Second grade to swim all week. Fire drill at 2.05 p.m. Now we're to Mr. Butzel with the words of wisdom. Good morning, Positive Astros. Happy Monday. So we had a lot of my friends testing last week, and so we had to be super quiet. This week I want you to let you know, be aware that there might be signs out for testing because we have one or two people that still need to make up some of their tests. So please be mindful of that as you're walking through the school, okay? But it's not a whole class testing or anything, so you might see one sign here or there. Be mindful. And... It's not a problem if you're following our expectations anyway, because our expectations are always that we are walking in the hallways, our eyes are looking forward, and we're at a zero voice level when we're walking in hallways. That is so that we're not taking away the learning from anybody else in the school. Because guess what? Our sound that we make, watching the wall, or stomping our feet, or using our voice, those sounds that we make, they carry, and other people can hear them. And some people are highly distracted by them, so you have to just make sure you're following the expectations and doing the right thing, right? So last week, I never even talked about the word of the week, but it was optimism. And I think last week, we were all pretty optimistic that you guys were going to do amazing on your state testing, right? So some of my friends did writing. And they worked really, really hard, and they went in it with a positive attitude that they were going to write lots and show great things. I had some of my friends who did reading last week, and they worked really hard. They knew that they had been preparing all year for it, so they were very optimistic about how they were going to do on it, and they rocked it out, and I'm so proud of you guys for that. So you guys definitely rocked out that word last week of optimism, and I'm very proud of you guys for that. So that's what I wanted to touch on today. And then tomorrow I'll touch on this week's word of the week, okay? Because I want to make sure we have equal opportunity here, okay? So, also this week, the book fair. Have you gone to the book fair yet? Some of my friends have went to the book fair already. If you're going to go in the morning, you need to have an adult with you. You cannot go by yourself, okay? You can come down between 8.30 and 12 noon, if you have money with you to shop at the book fair, okay? So you can, can only come at 7.30 to 8.30 with an adult, but from 8.30 to 12, you can come down and buy a book. But that also means that morning book checkout's not gonna be open because we're gonna be actively monitoring the book fair. So don't come in for morning checkout for books. You're gonna have to make sure you get a book from your classroom library or you come at another time during your media time to check out a book, okay? And sometimes I see friends in here every single morning getting a new book. Well, as many times as I see them, they've not taken that many AR tests. So that means you're abandoning a book before you finish it. Make it a goal to finish that book this week. Instead of abandoning that book that you just checked out on Friday, actually read it and don't abandon it and take your test on it and be proud of the progress that you're making on it. Because some friends, 
have a book today and they bring it back tomorrow and I know they didn't read it because they didn't take a test on it. Right? That's how we show that we did it. We take our AF quizzes on it. Okay? So, positive astros. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Mr. Butzel. This week's announcements. Tuesday, April 9th. Girls on the Run. Wednesday, April 10th. Pair meeting at 9.40 a.m. and 2 o'clock p.m. Girls on the Run. K-Kids Friday, April 12th. Progress Grade Sports Quarter post Inc. open. SPPC meeting at 10 a.m. Friday is Spear Day, so wear your Neil Armstrong t-shirt and your uniform bottoms. Now over to Miss... Now over to Miss Morrissey. We'll fix it. You, that's your job. Good morning, Positive Astros. Yeah, just make sure you get everybody in the camera. The book fair is open today. Wow, today through Friday, you only have five days to get to that book fair. Uh, it's in the Media Center. Students may come down any time between 8.30 and 12 noon, it says here on Ms. Kipfinger's announcement. Um, if you come at 7.30, you do need an adult with you. The morning book checkout is closed this week because of the book fair, so um, please check out the book fair. Thank you. We have an award winner to share with us today. Come on over, award winner, and tell us your name. Addison. Addison. Come over here into the camera. And who's your teacher? Miss Welsh. Oh, Miss Welsh. Who's your mom? Miss Oh, that's right. Okay. What did you What did you win? What did you earn? Um, I won a volleyball medal because I. Um, my volleyball team won second place at, at a tournament. At a tournament. Oh, that's a nice medal. Let's see it. Wow, it says very nice volleyball, and it's got two, 2019 on it. Cool. Do you have a special place to keep that? On the back, it tells you the tournament series. That's a nice medal. You have a spot for it, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. Keep up the good work, and thanks for sharing with us. Great job, right? Great job. All right, thanks for sharing with us when you uh, earn an award, a medal, or a trophy, or a certificate. And uh, we appreciate you coming down and sharing that with us. So keep up the good work, everybody. Have a great week. And now back to the anchors. Thank you, Ms. Morrison. Lunch for today, chicken nuggets, rice, pilaf, green peas, carrot coins, choice of fruit, milk. Breakfast for tomorrow, sausage sandwich or choice of cereal with whole grain Pop-Tart, oatmeal, low-fat milk. Now over to Jack with the weather report. Today, mostly cloudy, 86 degrees high, 70 degrees low, 20% chance of rain. Tuesday, scattered thunderstorms, 80 degrees high, 67 degrees low, 50% chance of rain. Now back to the anchors. Birthdays for today. Oh. Th thank you, Jack. Birthdays for today. Spencer, John, Yanira. Hidalgo Lynn. Have a great day, Positive Ashers. And, and thank, thank you, you for watching Channel 5 News. We'll see you again tomorrow at 8.40. Have a memorable Monday. Bye.